Hi everybody, so this is Milturn's setup, this is the, the uh, video I'm trying to do right now. And this is something that gave me a lot of trouble a couple days ago, uh, and I had forgotten some functions and uh, it wasted a lot of my time. Well, I just tried to set up the video I did the way I did it the other day with transform functions and uh, it didn't bring the part, like it brought the part a fraction of a degree out of alignment and my uh, wireframes were all screwed up when I f was uh, about to finish the second video and I realized that I just wasted a half hour. So uh, here we're starting all over again. So I, 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 st I grab a new project. I go ahead and I merge my file. Uh, just, just green check through that. Then what I want to do is find a function called align to Z. And I want to use the function by, it's, it tells me to grab a diameter. I want to transform to a plane and the plane is going to be top. So I green check through that and uh, green check through that. Now how I check this is by going to my top plane uh, and clicking top over here in the planes manager and seeing that plane is in the center uh, and on the face. So I'm looking in the world, in the in the views, at top, I'm looking over the part as if I'm in the lathe standing on top of the machine looking down at the part. Well, I, I might want to radially align one of these features to be milled to the uh, uh, center of Y travel uh, on on the rear of the part. And in order to do that, I've got to hit transform. I've got to use a dynamic transform. I gotta select the part, select the front face of the part. And now this appears and I want to take this this way. So I grab this and I start rolling it. I see a negative number. So I want to go negative 90. I know that. So I type in negative 90, enter, enter, green check. Now I can look at that. I'm in the top view, and hey, Wonder Wonder is rear the part. I've got a radial feature to be milled. So now that I've done that, uh, and this is important to do this in this order, new file, uh, and then merge the file, uh, and then grab the machine for Milturn. Because guess what? Milturn, I click on the machine. First thing that pops up is job setup. And uh, so if, if I'm looking at this menu and I haven't uh, got the part in space aligned with the top uh, plane, uh, I'm already screwed from the, from the get-go. So I go, to my, I go through setup type, left spindle, continuous bar pull pickups, off stock pull cutoff. This just gets me a part on the right side of the machine. Uh, this program won't actually output a pick off part transfer that my machine will run. So world world coordinate system, I want to be relative to top because I'm I'm machining this part like it's in a, a turning center, which it is. Part geometry, I'm going to grab the part and uh, create right side spindle geometry. I do. I want to uh, offset by a hundred the level. Uh, I, I don't I don't want to create the turn profiles. Uh, I'm going to do that myself. And so, give myself a bar diameter. Uh, and I don't know, I mean, let's let's see what happens if I put a one point in here. What goes into that? Oh, uh, that's just extra diameter stock. Nobody would want that. Okay, so, uh, uh, extra back face stock. Uh, this is actually going to give me I believe my pickoff values, and this is one of the things I don't like about um, mill turn is that I can't seem to find a lie that will get me more bar to, bar stick out, so that I can actually have the kinematic functionality have some relationship to reality. But uh, oh well, uh, you can't really change what you don't like. So I give it twenty thou face, twenty thou back face, and if you can see, there's a little sliver of light there. That means I got it. Chuck jaws. I'm running college chucks, so I'm not going to touch this. 
uh, tool point origin, origin Z, I'm going to use the right face of the part. And uh, stick out, I have to, I'm going to try, I, I mean, I'd like to try for two and a half inches, but if you'll take a look, you'll see it'll just give me some obligatory value because this is how long the bar is, and I don't know how to lie to it, like I said. Uh, so that's what I get. Uh, right spindle, I'm not going to mess with that. This is going to be a compute tool plane origin Z left face offset number one. It's going to go to 55 coordinate system, G55. Uh, pick off. Uh, I'm going to grab the part with the chuck jaws right here. And this, that's what this little drawing means. You know, instead of speaking in English to you, uh, I guess they must think that they sell this product all over the world or something. Uh, and don't care about the Americans who use it, but uh, well, this is what this drawing means. A lot of times these drawings are really confusing, but this particular one means uh, click here and grab a line where you want the chuck jaws, the right chuck, the sub chuck to go uh, when you when you pick off the part, and that's going to be relational to as you green check out uh, where. Uh, your chuck jaws are over here is all that's going to mean because you're not going to use the part transfer here if, if your post doesn't actually produce part transfers. Uh, so now I've got uh, some work to, to do to uh, organize this if I want to have an org organized file. So I, I'm on level 10 here and I'm going to click on this part, transform, translate. I'm going to put go nowhere. I'm going to move the part. I'm going to go to New Attributes 10. Boom. Uh, my parts moved to 10. Then I'm going to grab level 20. There's a hotkey for this. I, I can't remember what it is. You can move things to other uh, areas. So, again, grab the part. Translate. Uh, no motion. Move. Advanced. New Attributes 20. And I move the part. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label 20 sub 3D. I'm going to label 10 main 3D. Uh, I'm going to make a level 21, and that's going to be sub wire frame. And uh, if I go to the wireframe menu, I can create a term profile. I can click on the part. I'm going to spin at a thou tolerance full profile. That'll give me top, upper and lower profiles for the upper and lower turrets. And if I go like that, what happened? I went to sub wireframe. I can deactivate my solid part. I can clean this up. Uh, like so. Use the uh, trim break extend tool. Uh, and, I, and I can see that I lost a feature and I I can't undo the delete because there is no undo function apparently. Let me see. Oh, okay, if I got out of the tool, I can use the undelete function. And con so Control Z got me my geo back that I needed. I want to delete this stuff, but I want to leave that angle and this flat. But trim break extend, I grab the part, go over here, go over here, go over there. And I've cleaned up the, the upper, and for the sake of uh, time, I'm not going to do that to the lower. Uh, just so you guys don't see a bunch of wasted time. So, uh, for all intents and, intents and purposes, I am done on 21 sub wireframe. I'm going to go to 11. And it's going to be main wireframe. And so, if I go to 11 main wireframe, uh, zoom out. Click on the part and turn profile, spin, one thou, full profile, green check. Then I can drop my visibility on 10 main 3D and I can uh, grab this crap here, delete that stuff there, trim break extend. I can take this tool to here, to here, to there. And I've cleaned up an upper profile. And so you're going to do your programming on the upper wireframe for your upper turret. You're going to do your profile. Uh, your lower profile is going to be used for your lower turret. Unless, of course, you want to do something crazy like uh, come across uh, X uh, and, and roll a turn from the upper 
with the tool flipped upside down or uh, or across the uh, the X. Uh, and you might want to do that for chip management or something like that, but I typically do that stuff in Simco. I use the basic math functions to change it, to flip the code, and then look at the uh, uh, back plotter and switch my GO twos to GO threes and stuff like that um, instead of using the program for that kind of stuff. But at, at this point, you can see that we've uh, we've got what a level. A level 10, level 11, level 20, level 21. We've got some miscellaneous levels. We can right click and we can purge empty levels all. Cleaning up our uh, menu. We can't delete this. This is our machine in Milturn. But uh, as you can see, that is, uh, that's part set up. And if, if I wanted to get to that, that level, what I could actually do, and I'll, I'll show you this too, and you may be a user that doesn't need this information, you know, obviously. But uh, I can create a curve on one. I could go to level, say, 22 and call this main, um, our mill scallop up wire. And I could create curves on one edge. And I want to select from back. Uh, well, let me see. I want to climb mill this. So I'm going to select from back here. And hopefully this will get the chain to build uh, in this direction for the climb milling operation, but I just made geo essentially right there. Uh, so you could see bang, bang, bang my mill geo for uh, a pursuant milling operation. And at that point, I'm, I'm pretty well set up to uh, actually mill this part. But that completes the video.